guys welcome this is a quick video i just want to show you the result i was talking about in class so it's about the pythagorean theorem and consider this triangle it's a right triangle of course and we will talk about this side which is perpendicular to the hypotenuse okay and is the meeting with the vertex of the right angle and the hypotenuse okay so uh, it's a triangle and of course we will begin just by uh, writing the area of the triangle something maybe you think a little bit weird because we want to talk about the Pythagorean theorem, but this will be clear in a minute so the area you know that the area of a triangle is the half of the basis multiplied by the height so in this case, you can think of this triangle of this being the basis and this being the height, okay? So it's a half of the height multiplied by the basis, just like that. But if you use your geometrical minds, you can turn the, the figure and think about the hypotenuse as being the, the basis and the, this edge as being the height. And let me do this with the camera so you can see how it turns can you see guys how the hypotenuse can be the base the basis and the h the height um, just like that do it in your mind um, and we have another expression for the area is the half of the h multiplied by c because this is the the height and this is the new basis let's say and so we have two expressions two different expressions for the area of the triangle of course they are equivalent because a is equal to a of course and this is one half a b equal half a h c and you can multiply by two in both sides and this two is divided so you uh, get this expression expression a b equal h c and if you clear for c then you get um a b over h equals c okay this is important let's save this here for a for a minute and now uh, let's move uh, this side because now we are going to consider the famous pythagorean theorem you know the um, squares of the legs equal the, the square of the hypotenuse okay this one are the legs this is the hypotenuse the opposite to the right angle okay so now you have the Pythagorean theorem, but you have a, a, a expression for C. Can you see? This is C, A, B over H. So we can substitute in this C in the Pythagorean theorem. So A squared plus B squared equal to, we substitute our new expression. So it's A, B over H, oh my God, <laughs> over H squared. Okay. Now let's simplify. It's A squared plus B squared equal a b squared over h squared a little bit weird now um, let's make this movement this algebraic movement just i will just divide by a square b square as you know this power can be um, just like that simplify like that so if we multiply by this expression in both sides check what will happen surely you already know what is going to happen in this in this side of the equation this will get divide cancel out and you will get only the h squared and here you can expand the multiplication and this a will cancel out with this a squared so you will uh, get only the one over b squared it's one over b squared plus and here will uh, happen the same this b squared will be cancelled with this b squared it will divide and get the uh, one and you will be left with 1 over a squared okay 1 over a squared equal to 1 over h squared 
and reorder just for a better looking a formula and voila there you have this is the so-called inverse Pythagorean theorem okay you can rewrite this expression just like this it's the same you know it just be careful because remember this h is of course not the hypotenuse is this side okay so this is a quick video this result is actually from the semi-exam remember this problem in the semi-exam so you can apply to solve next problems in our next stage okay guys see you